if you get a trouble code C1203 along with C1345 in uh, 2009, that would be for 2004 to 2009 Toyota Prius. Here is an attempt to see what um, the problems are and if there is a problem with the brake system to fix the, uh, the problem. And if there isn't, and we can uh, calibrate the the brake and recalibrate and reset that uh, that code. So first thing first is to go to the OBD2 port, which is located. If you're sitting in the car, you can see with the yellow um, uh, Bluetooth that I have connected there. Let's disconnect that. So you come in here to the OBD2 port. You want to jump the port. We're going to jump on the top, four to the uh, from the left, and on the bottom, four from the right. If you have a regular jumper, you can jump it. If you do not have a regular jumper, a paper clip straightened out will be good. And if you don't have a paper clip, it's in an emergency, take out one of the rings from your uh, key and straighten that out and use it. Manage to get the pin jumped. This is how it will look when you jump it. At this point, we will start the car. And then press the brake eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The ABS light flashes. As you can see, it's flashing there. Now, the display on this uh, Prius is out. It's black. Otherwise, what would happen is a diagnostic screen will come up on the screen and you can diagnose whatever there is a problem with the ABS system or the braking system. And if there isn't, you can turn off the engine and hopefully upon re removing the ABS, uh, the pins from the, uh, from the jump, the, this will reset. So let's try that and start and the problem is not solved. So which means we do have a problem with the braking system. Now we'll go to the next phase, which will be to use a scanner to recalibrate the braking system. The scanner I'm using is the um, 431 Torque uh, by Launch. So this connected uh, now to the car, we're going to go into systems. So, so we'll continue here. This is the Toyota with smart key. Okay. Okay. And it scans. From this point, system selection. Okay, from here we choose chassis and then ABS, VSC. Okay. read fault code and then we see there the C1203 engine control system communication circuit C1345 not learning linear valve offset there we'll go back to special function okay
so we select the check and clear the system you can see and hear the brake system being tested and the ABS light is flashing Perform the signal operation according to the repair manual. And press OK. So all of these signals are found. So C0371, your reach sensor output signal. C1271 lower output signal of of front speed sensor lower output signal of front speed sensor on the left and on the right lower output signal of rear speed sensor low output signal of rear speed sensor on the left and right abnormal change in output signal of front speed sensor so basically all the speed sensors right left front and back are abnormal master cylinder pressure sensor output signal is faulty okay test mode maybe a cc already sensor i'm going and it's going to ask us to turn the engine off steering wheel is in and engine is not running Let's make sure that the end compress OK. turn it off and turn it back on and the VSC and the brake light signal is all gone so the reason why those light came on for this vehicle was because we disconnected the brake module in the back to remove the battery sometimes it is easiest to not take that module off when that module comes off uh, it registers that you have done a major repair on the brake system and that the brake system needs to be calibrated. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.